Welcome back YouTube. Today I'm gonna try my best to do a unboxing. I think this is my first time doing an unboxing and I'm going to try to um, explain to you why if I was to suggest or recommend a EFI setup on a older vehicle that has a you know, a first gen uh, small block Chevy. Uh, why why I would choose the Holly Sniper EFI over a lot of other different options. Now everybody has their own opinion, but this is mine and I, I have the right to have my own opinion. So there you have it. The unboxing I'm doing is gonna be Holly uh, Sniper TBI Master Kit. Um, Part number 550-511K. And this is the black. So let's get with it. Um, so just like I said, bear with me. This is my first unboxing. I'm not sure if I'm up. I'm going to edit this video or not. Uh, but just let's see how it goes. All right. Um, All right. Uh, first thing first. Let's get the big box. If I can get it out of here. Okay. Let's get the big box. Let's set this box to the side. And let's take a peek under the hood of this box. So this is. I don't know if I have a separate port number. Yes, it does. Um, this has a separate part number, which is 550-511 Sniper EFI Kit Black. But it doesn't have the K on the end because this is just the, the throttle body. And the throttle body is it's a bolt-on carburetor replacement, uh, spread bore, uh, square bore. And it has the ECU and everything built in. It has four injectors, uh, built-in fuel pressure regulator, and all that other good stuff. Uh, this kit's gonna come with like a 3.5 inch test screen. Self tuning capabilities. Uh, and you can set it up. You can actually tune it with some cable as well. Uh, so, this is. This is her. This is it. Uh, this is the front. So, you have a port here that you can use if you need it. It has your, your throttle. Where you hook your throttle linkage up and good thing about this is strong enough to where you generally don't need a, a spring to pull the throttle back closed um like i said it's the uh, square board setup look how nice this thing is i'm trying to go uh film on this gopro for the first time doing Car related stuff normally i do fishing and stuff like that but you know you have your fuel pressure regulator here fuel in and out um you have your nice an fitting dash six um you have a air idle control valve already mounted you have where you can hook your power boost up you have where you can hook your vacuum up to your um distributor if you're using a distributor with a vacuum um advanced vacuum advanced um has tps built on it so that's your throttle position sensor uh as, as i said before this thing has the ecu built in it somewhere i think in its front cover i've never taken one apart so i, I don't have any reason to um you have several pigtails this is for your um wide oh uh wide band o2 sensor which is should be a this might be a four is this gonna be a 4.2 or 4.9 uh it's kind of hard to tell by the plug it's almost like a 4.9 being such a small plug but i could be wrong so don't 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 fault me for that charge it to my ignorance and you have your other two plugs and your display plugs into here uh, this goes to your cooling temperature sensor. This is a, if I'm not mistaken, this one is for the expansion. So 
So if you're doing like AC, or you can do your AC request and stuff like that, and other things like timing and stuff like this. This is going to be your main end. This is going to have your power, your ground, all the other good stuff. Uh, so yeah, this is the throttle body, or uh, they call it a TBI. And this thing has self-learning capabilities. Very easy to set up. I'll do a different video of setting it up later. Uh, and I'm, it's probably a thousand of them on YouTube. So, yeah. So, let's set her to the side. And here's your other wire. This is your main harness. And I hope this thing is showing fine until I can't see it. Yeah. This is your main harness. It has your your fuel point relay. That's your main power fuse. It has where this plugs into the main your main plug. So that's where your power and ground and crank signal. So you, you even have a plug for a uh, if you have a, a crank trigger or a distributor that requires this 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 is very um very very helpful because you can go in and actually get into the pro features the way you can adjust timing and it can sit there and automatically adjust timing as you need it and take it out as you don't need it so that's that's the magic about it um your power lead your ground lead this very important goes directly to the battery not your fuse box not this wire over here not this wire over there but directly to the battery nowhere else um i think the yellow one is going to be your your coil input which is going to be your tax signal um this is your fuel pump output this goes directly to if your vehicle is set up with fuel injection already um uh, say like if your vehicle, maybe 88 model, if it has a fuel pump, electric fuel pump in it already from the factory, you can actually run this to trigger the, um, or you actually just bypass that and the main power wire that goes to your fuel pump, you can use it, or you can just run this directly to the tank. I would probably run it directly to the tank, um, to the fuel pump assembly. But on this one, you're gonna run this to directly to the, directly to the fuel pump nowhere else um on an older setup like a general set like this this um chevelle uh i would run it directly to the fuel pump this chevy truck here i would run it directly to the fuel pump all right um and this is your main power harness really really simple um i think i'm missing something um oh your pink wire your pink wire is your ignition input so basically you only have a few wires and this thing will be running look you have a hot in the ground goes to the battery you got the blue wire that goes to your fuel pump and you got your pink wire goes to the ignition turn on and guess what boom you run it you up and running just that quick just a few wires all right move on ram and i'm gonna try to keep it raw as possible with you i mean i'm not um, this is not i'm not being paid i'm not being sponsored or anything like this this is just my personal review uh because i've done you know several and that's why i like them this is your wideband o2 sensor this is this thing is magical um because it can tell the computer what your f your ratio is and what your vehicle is doing currently and when you're in auto tune mode or auto learn mode or learn mode it will allow the computer to adjust to what's going on. Say like if you change altitude or something like that, it, it can see that. Um, and it'll allow you to, uh, it'll allow it to make whatever adjustments. If you're running a little ridge, if it's cold, if it's hot, if the temperature changes and stuff like that. So that's that's a plus plus. These uh, wideband sensors are very, uh, very much a plus um, on any type of, EFI setup because it, it helps you get a better tune uh, if you don't know how to tune or if you don't have the capabilities of doing all that. Now this this stuff here, this little doodad right here is a 
you actually, if your exhaust doesn't have a O2 bone, which is required to mount your, your O2 sensor, you have to drill a hole in your exhaust by this size, take this gasket, sit it over here, put this directly over the hole in your exhaust and clamp it down. Something like so. And it'll provide you a, um, a seal where you won't get any air or any leaks around it. Cause that kind of throws your tune off when you get leaks. Uh, by the open sensor or any type of leaks before you get to the open sensor. I uh, hope I'm making some type of sense to you guys. Uh, this is your expansion harness. This is where you do uh, your AC request and, and it does a couple other different things. I don't want to quote it because I don't want to tell you nothing wrong. Uh, and it comes with this nice loom. But I generally use the loom on my power wash when I try to hide them. And it's split loom at that. So it's split loom. It is split loom. So I'll try to put that back in there. Now this is your 3.5 um, inch display. And then put it in backwards so it wouldn't damage the screen and shipping. Um, this is your display. Your display basically just plugs in. 